the train is en route to its destination. Please have patience while we wait for its arrival. You okay, man? Nerves still messing with you? Well, yes, a bit. I'm worried that we're headed to the final showdown without certain details being sorted out. Yeah, that can be kind of scary, but uh, I mean, he said his name. I don't know if we'll get any more, any more info than that. I feel the same. There's still the question of Irina and this world itself. Not to mention the fact that we're not even sure what exactly it is we're going to fight. Right. I'm fairly certain it's Samael from the Bible, but there's a... Why'd they just add a random letter? I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. I am not sure how much help I will be, but if you'd like, oh. I can share with you what I know. Yeah, 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 for sure. Please be aware that this will involve a degree of speculation, but I should be able to provide some useful information. Yeah, what is Salmonamonamonamonamonamonamonamonamonamonamonamonamonamonamonamonamonamonamonamonamonamonamonamonamonamonamonamonamonamonamonamonamonamonamonamonamonamonamonamonamonamonamonamonamonamonamonamonamon
Somayel's stated goal is to ensure that people don't get hurt or suffer. <coughs> oh my god, I got hiccups. Oh, goodness, Arena, your freaking drawing was hilarious. And oh. in order to accomplish that, it came to the conclusion that any risk taken to fight for something is undesirable. Yeah, it's not worth it. From, you know, a strange outer being's point of view. Does that sound about right? Furthermore, given our nature as humans, there will always be those who take a stand to initiate change. Makoto's so polite. I... <laughs> She, she didn't react to the painting like I did. I... And that gives Salmael an endless supply of people to stamp out for having these dangerous ideas. Dangerous ideas? In other words, they possess the will of revolution. A desire to take a stand against authority. So, this time around, Toshiro fits the bell, huh? That would seem to be the case. Hmm. I'm very taken by this drawing here. Uh, Could I give my opinion on it? <laughs> it's almost as if it's if it's outside art. Where did you learn? Maybe leave that for later. Yeah, no, let's stay on topic. You see, it doesn't right, care. That's enough <laughs> about that. <laughs> now that we have a decent grasp on Salmael, what's next? Hmm. Are we inside his brain? Do you know Lavenza? How we all fit in here? Yes. Oh. To be precise. I should clarify that's only half correct. That's actually surprising. Half correct? This place. It's a spiritual world ruled by Salmael. It was built using your cognition, Toshiro. In more succinct terms, this is a metaverse Salmael constructed to break your will. I have come to the conclusion that that is the most accurate way to describe it. So, it's a prison, and the wallpaper they used on, you know, the walls in the cell just happened to resemble Toshiro's memories. All right, that makes sense. That seems like a lot of trouble just to take me out. Under normal circumstances, it would have been able to erase your will simply by invading your mind. But a budding power to resist its domination had already taken root inside of you. Power to resist? Oh, I get it. You mean a persona? Precisely. The persona is an armor of rebellion, meant to resist those who would try to exert their influence over others. God dang. It's a good thing he met Eri-chan, I guess. Like the Phantom Thieves. Interfering with those who possess this power is no small task. And you're saying this power of the will had started to take root in me as well? It is quite plausible if there was something to trigger it. Anything happened to you recently that rings a bell? Like, you ever think, I'm having a birth of willpower, baby? That's quite a crude analogy. Oh. Hmm. So it did help you think of one. What? Huh? Okay, but what was the trigger? At the end of last year, as I told you before, I'd been undecided on whether to indict my father for his wrongdoings. And it was right around that time when you all hijacked the live TV broadcast. Oh, snap. Here I was struggling to stand up to my father while you were boldly proclaiming your beliefs to the entire nation. When I thought about it that way, I felt inspired to show the same courage as you. That's a heck of a butterfly effect, okay. As for what happened next, well, you already know that part. I... It wow. is still only a possibility, but a faint seed of power may have taken root within him then. This is what I want to see. Heck, I, I wish more of the spinoffs did. Just expanding the world of the base game. You know what I mean? That's a small thing. Hey, you know, screw you, Shido, you suck, dude! And then we get to have this whole story as a result of that. I think stuff like th Ugh. man god i hope we don't all just forget what happened here that if that if they can pull that off i still don't know spoil you know spoiler free thank god i would be so freaking happy of course a persona can be awakened in other ways too <laughs> yeah there's a lot of interesting ways in the franchise I, uh, <laughs> I think i'm starting to understand Agreed. In other words, 
With ordinary people, Jesus Samael Christ. is able to invade their minds whenever it pleases. <laughs> this is such a good tool. It's like, are you are you, are you keeping up? Well, let's let's put it in like the most cartoony way possible. Random guy. Okay, I guess I will obey you, Samael. Toshiro. No, I will uh partially uh, dodge it with the this uh, phantom thief power I have. <laughs> But with so Toshiro, silly. the subtle emergence of a power to resist prevented it from interfering. These drawings are so, uh, <laughs> unique. I'm kind of at a loss here, but... <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. She did so well back in France. I, what happened? And additionally, Toshiro's son being able to resist Samael's power meant he posed an even greater threat. So it was willing to do whatever it took to snuff him out. And the moment it made the decision to eradicate my will for social change, it created this place. Yes. The metaverse we currently find ourselves in is called the Kingdoms. Salmael must have attempted to purge your will by using the memories which lay dormant in your heart. Well, I never would have guessed there was a war being waged inside my own mind. Even so, your subconscious was putting up a fight against Salmael's invasion from the very beginning. And that was Arena. Dude. And amidst it all, it's very likely that's when you were born within Toshiro Kasukabe's spirit. Me? Just like Salmael used the individuals from Toshiro's memory as symbols of domination, there was another individual in Toshiro's heart who embodied the spirit of revolution. Mary. With your mind under attack, you subconsciously materialized Ari and entrusted your hope to her. This hope was the power of your persona, the thing that Salmael was trying to destroy before it fully formed. Hmm. So in effect, this is what you're saying, yes? Did, did you draw one, Yusuke? Samael oh. created the kingdoms to try and quash the potential of Toshiro's power. Yeah, that's, uh, that's about it. In response, Toshiro's heart created Arena as a symbol of revolution and the keeper of his power. So every battle the Rebel Corps fought was ultimately an effort to protect Toshiro's will. Right. And we went out in the end because, well, I guess Joker chucked his knife at him, like, stopped his shadow. This also wouldn't have been the first time an outer god being influenced someone's shadow before and more or less puppeted them. I'm not going to spoil the game, but I'm thinking of other spinoff where the precedent of that was said before, so... Yeah, I don't know. Like, this isn't necessarily breaking all the rules like I thought it was. Oh, not bad, Fox. Kind of kind of makes me feel a little inferior, though. I'm lie. <laughs> I can't let you take all the glory, can I? <laughs> I was admittedly getting a bit flustered. I, I just had to paint. Uh, what are you trying to prove to her anyways? <laughs> I can still fight. Dude, you've been fighting the whole game. There's nothing left to prove. Things were looking pretty grim before the Phantom Thieves got here. So I'm not sure if I'd have lasted much longer. You had only a fraction of power, but it was also very faint. It stands to reason that you would be unable to stave off Salmael's invasion on your own. However, no matter how persistently Salmael attacked, it was never able to completely wither out your will. Thus, hitting the limits of its patience, Salmael opted for a last resort. That is when it must have dragged the real Toshiro Kasukabe into this metaverse. Fiance, my father, and my imposter. Each one of my traumas trying to corner me. It wasn't able to break Toshiro's heart with Arena defending it, so it went for the throat instead. Ugh, seriously? Using a person's memories to try and break them down emotionally is some real sick stuff. And it almost would have worked, I mean. If the Phantom Thieves didn't all chip in. No, Toshiro, come on! You didn't kill your mom, that's nothing stupid! Come on, Toshiro, you got this. You're capable, like, we're doing that the whole time. And indirectly fighting off that side my, oh, that's such cool, I don't know. You got that right. Oh. Who are the people? Who's <laughs> kidding? 
Yeah, the, the ends do not justify the means. But that didn't go according to plan either, did it? No, it did not. Therefore, it would stand to reason that Salmael is also in a difficult position. We're in a face-off, and we're not backing down, so it's either us or him. The fact that it showed itself would seem to indicate the intention to settle things with its own hands. Which means we're in for a head-to-head -head fight, right? Yeah. I can't wait to rip its head off. I mean, uh, yes. yeah, we gotta win. Yay. You have the general idea. I, I, I love my friends, and I, I don't love needless combat. I, uh, anyway. I know we went through all this relatively quickly, but we will be arriving shortly. No, oh, you did a great job summarizing. I don't know. Could have been worse. I will be happy to answer any more questions to the best of my ability after we arrive. I'm just kind of glad Lavenza got to do more stuff. How many games has it been? She's just, you know. Thank you, Miss Lavenza. Yeah, thanks a bunch. Though, was there a super boss in this game? If it's you, I... To put it plainly, the enemy is yet another nosy god wannabe. It's not going to be an easy fight, but when has that ever stopped the Phantom Thieves? Pardon me. We will be arriving momentarily, everyone. Are all your preparations in order? Hell yeah! Bring it on! Would have liked to enjoy this pleasant train ride a bit longer, but I suppose that we'll have to wait until we clean up this mess. Our morale couldn't be higher. Onwards. So I realized Yusuke painted that on this bumpy effing train. My God, he is good. No cause for concern, I see. I yeah. Very well. <laughs> I will take us right in. Yeah, let's roll. Huh? Wait, you're you're controlling this from the this room? How is that possible? <laughs> that was so loud. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. Oh my god! You- Oh, there's the gears. Huh. We have arrived safely. Please, watch your step getting off. Nothing phases you, does it? Excuse me, but <laughs> is that what you call safe? The world did three whole rotations. <laughs> I'm dizzy. Sorry. Could I get a bag or something? Ugh. <sighs> Anyhow, it looks like we made it to the enemy's stronghold. And our <laughs> stomachs are upside down. Do you think Samael's waiting up ahead? Hopefully not at the, like, train station, because that would have to suck. Yes. Oh, but don't. I wouldn't expect a warm reception. It's got a bazooka aimed at the train. I do this for the peace of humanity. I would <laughs> suggest going further only when amply prepared. All right, let's send this. God. This did just fly by, though, man. I, I I cannot state enough how great of a like, if it can do a good finale, I'll be so satisfied. This is the final battle. Let's get the win and stop this nutcase for good. Yeah, and I'll settle the score with my past once and. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, take it easy, bro. You don't make it easy to have a cool exit, do you? Mm, it can't be too cool. That's Joker's job. <laughs> yeah, the serpent. We're going up against an angel of death, which is a little ironic. He also doesn't resemble a snake at all, so, I don't know, maybe not, but I digress. Let's press onward and, I don't know, wait, more questions for Lavenza. And here I was hoping the game would, like, kind of expand upon some of Yaudabao's lore, like, you know, when the archangels just By show up. On your face, oh. I take it there is still something on your mind. This one's voiced? Oh my god. I am more than happy to shed some light on your understanding of the situation, if you would like. I'll be frank, I feel like I got it, but uh, I feel bad if I didn't show this. So, also I just want to tease you, what did the next kingdom look like? Yeah, let's talk. Of course. So what would you like to discuss first? Uh... The train, I guess. As I told you before, this is the Velvet Room, but with an altered appearance. The appearance of the Velvet Room will change depending on the visitor's state of mind. But typically, once an appearance has been determined, a second transformation should not be possible. So is this maybe not my Velvet Room? Therefore, I believe this world and Salmael are responsible for the current aberration from the norm. Hmm. 
And it also begs the question, like, if my Velvet Room was supposed to... Like, you know... If that other Igor never took over, what was my Velvet Room supposed to resemble? You know? Maybe still a prison, because Joker internalized that, yeah, he was a guilty person. I don't know. Is this related to what you said before? About the room being unstable? I'm just curious. Like, will that ever be answered? Probably not. Salmael is an entity that specializes in rooting out threatening ideologies within humanity. In other words, the ability to counteract is presumably one of its strengths. However, nullifying either one entirely seems to have been beyond its means. Furthermore, because the Velvet Room regained its form from within a state of limbo, I presume its current appearance is only temporary. Gotcha. I'm glad they addressed this. The mythology of the Velvet Room, I don't know. It might not be the appeal of most people that play these games, but having it is important to me. And if they want to make it a train, they I made it a train. I get it. So what is, you know, the real normal? You're supposed to be a maid. Does that mean my Velvet Room's a certain kind of cafe? It seems safe to assume so. <laughs> no! No! Between the interference of Salmael, the growth of your own heart, and the will of Toshiro Kasukabe, the present appearance is likely the result of these irregularities happening all at once. Alright, makes sense to me. And it's uh, way better than... I decided to turn the Velvet Room into a dance studio for the lulls. That makes sense. <laughs> well, at any rate, so having this train has been a major convenience. For now, let's just be grateful for it. Is there anything else you wish to ask me? Hmm. Well, yeah. I mean, do we really care about the kingdoms? I kind of... Uh, we can pretty much just gather that Toshiro... Mm, you know, he paid attention in history class and learned about them, but maybe there's something more than that. Salmael was the entity responsible for creating this world in Toshiro Kasukabe's heart. This much I told you already, correct? Yeah, just about. What was going on with Marie and all the Legionnaires? How'd they actually come to be? Because they didn't seem like shadows to me. Those who reigned as rulers were created from memories and images. They were idols Salmael conjured for the purpose of emotionally cornering Toshiro Kasukabe. I believe you have all witnessed an entity being born from an unintentional breakdown of cognition before? Uh, uh, have we? You mean from Futaba's palace, right? Oh! The cognitive form of her mother. Okay. I assumed that was a shadow, but... In actuality, they were fragments of Salmael's own existence, with the visual appearances of their real-world selves. So they would blend in. Okay. So all that time, they were treating Toshiro like their plaything, when they were the actual puppets all along, huh? Hey, at least we got confirmation. They're definitely not shadows. Wait, does that mean the Legionnaires were this way, too? Yes. But unlike their rulers, it seems like Salmael used shadows that were drifting in oh. the subconscious sea. <laughs> well, so much for that. And in order to force those shadows to submit to its will, it absorbed them. The power crystals that appeared when the Wait. Legionnaires were defeated were likely remnants of this process. Hey, yo, what? There's been power crystals? What? When? The gears? Is, that, is there anything else you wish to What decide? the frick is a power crystal? You can't just be throwing terms like that. What the actual- Her case is another extremely rare one. A cognitive presence, a persona, a shadow. It may be best to think of her as a being that shares attributes with all of these. Meaning? Toshiro Kasukabe created Irina when his will and the power within his heart were struggling to be heard. She was the embodiment of Toshiro's feelings of hope, revolution, and resistance. 
When you describe it like that, she sure does sound a lot like a cognitive being. Subconsciously, Toshiro entrusted her with his power. The seed of a persona, figuratively speaking. One could say that while in this state, she was a cognitive being with an inner persona. You completely lost me. And these, these are like my favorite games. What the dump are you talking about? Typically, personas and shadows are two sides of the same coin. And the entity known as Irina carried the light and darkness of Toshiro's heart. So she was born from cognition, but she's also Toshiro's persona. Which would explain why Arena still herself even after she awakened to her power. Furthermore, even though this area may have been conquered, a portion of it remains connected to people's hearts. A possibility remains that the events that took place here had a subconscious effect on the real <gasps> Eri Natsuhara's heart. That's the best news ever! I mean, you know. Oh my god. Okay, listen. Oh man, I can't talk about that game. I don't know. I don't want to spoil other Persona games when I'm playing this one, but crazy things can happen if you just change your disposition. That's all I'm saying. No. What? But no. Again, what? This is all speculation on an exceptional circumstance and exclusive to this specific situation. Well, the only way we'll find out is if we fight our way out of here. It would be so. disingenuous of me to huh? go on about theories I cannot substantiate. <gasps> well, honey, I can do that because I'm a YouTuber. We don't got to back up nothing. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But yeah, that's... Is there anything else you wish to no. discuss? No, we got it. You've been great. Thank you very much, Miss Lavenza. I feel like it's all making a lot more sense to me now. You're such a suck-up. I mean, she is all powerful, but... Well, uh. if I was able to be of assistance, then I could not ask for anything more. I'm just teasing. She's sweet. And sour. Mostly sour, but we'll now move on. Then, ah. This is as far as the train can take you. Please proceed on your own from here. And good luck facing Salmael. Fortunately, despite the change in appearance, the Velvet Room has retained its usual functions. I shall be able to assist you with Persona Fusions and the like whenever necessary. Great to hear. I think I'll get on that right now. Didn't we unlock special fusions or something? That's a huge help, Miss Lavenza. What would we do without you? Okay. I say we'd better prep for battle before moving out. Yeah, no kidding. I mean, I could totally just beat the game by... Oh, we got six for that? That's huge! Oh my god. But like, genuinely, I think we could just beat the whole game by abu- <laughs> They gave it a new transition, that's so cool. By abusing uh, Ambush Plus. Like, I'm, I'm dead serious. It seems that strong. They usually don't throw- Make your decision. They usually don't, what I'm trying to say is they don't throw more than like, uh, like six enemies at you at a time. You just stop them all from moving. They can't attack if they're moving. And, uh, yeah, Black Frost. I can make that. And for the first time ever, I think, Chiyu beats out Lucy. Lucy Goosey is, whoa, increased damage at with each subs... That's so strong. What the dump? I still genuinely can understand, though, why Persona melee damage is almost always higher than gun damage. Doesn't really make sense to me. Well, whatever. I'll check out these skills. Oh, no way. Oh, no way. You're it. Wouldn't be a Persona game without him, huh? Okay, well. <laughs> that's pretty awesome. And we got Michael, who greatly increased damage. Oh, man. It's a shame you don't really need to make, like, all powerful Personas to beat most of the stuff in this game. Because, yeah, it's mostly just comes down to strategy. Can we make anything here? Eh, you know, what are we doing? Check out the level! I'm stalling! What can I say? I'm a big nerd for the fusing. Let's head outside and see where the heck we are. I... I don't... Truly... What? Uh... Just like that? Okay, Toshiro and Arena. During battle formation, you'll be able to choose three units besides Toshiro for your party, including her. Irina. 
Toshiro uses the skill arena will transform to Ernesto. I kind of really want to see that. So just for this map, I think we should do it. Even though it does seem like a tactical loss because they share HP bars. And I'm also curious, this is still not open. How weird is that? I... <clears throat> Alright, whatever. I can already tell this area is going to drive me nuts. And bolts. I'm sorry. Let's just have to start the map. Defeat all the enemies. It seems like a starter area. And now that we have four allies, they're going to be chucking tons of foes at us, I'm sure. What is this place? It's eerie, vacuous, and even the turning gears seem listless. The air feels heavy, too. It's hard to breathe. It looks like we're someplace in the sky, far above sea level. Oh, crud. So there's a little air. Samael. It's probably safe to say it's his kingdom. Hey, there's no time for chit chat. Get blasting! And I can bet they won't let us pass easily. No matter how many. Uh, it won't be enough to stop us! That's it. Yeah. Let's clean these guys up quick. And send this god or whatever straight to hell! Dang, she really is one of the team. Like, <laughs> she gets it. It's been a while since we've seen these barrels, huh? Maybe it's just remixing all the other kingdoms together? If I had to bet, this does seem like the type of game to do a little bit of, uh, asset reuse. I think they earned that. It's all Chrome. Chrome! We made it through. Why do you think those enemies got so hostile all of a sudden? Now that Toshiro is awakened, Samael can't use the photorealistic projections and colors from the film of his memory. In other words, the enemies just now must have been its pawns, made up of nothing more than artificial empty matter. So maybe they, you know, husks ain't a bad word for him? That would explain why they can't revive anymore. Which means we have to get back to the hideout. Going by Miss Levence's intel, guessing these gears are supposed to represent the will of the masses? I mean, I guess... With Toshiro said to become Prime Minister, it must think that squashing his will for change would deter the rest of the people, too. What? Sl slam sl slam was it? Sheesh, for a god, it sure is petty. Well, Needless to say, I don't intend to let it have its way. All right, onward, everyone. Yeah. Hopefully not another filler map. Friggin- Oh, it's back to back. Yep, that's exactly what's happening. Yeah, I've got bad news. This is the feedback loop for the entirety of the Fourth Kingdom. I'm sad to report that the quality of Tactica's maps takes a giant nosedive after Toshiro's Awakening. Kingdom Forest aesthetic is also boring on purpose? Well, now. You bet. That's a wrap! We're just key in to keep fighting gears, though? Can press like how boring this world is. Kind of spit. The blandness of this realm most likely represents the stagnant world of Samael's desires. And definitely not budget restraints. I, uh, There's no conflict since no one wants anything to change. And as a result, you end up with total silent stasis. What a boring love. I mean, right before we came to the metaverse. Remember how that cup in the blob was flo floating in midair? Yeah. Could have stopped time. The gear symbol on the door would approve it. Being made to participate in this god's weird play is starting to get on my nerves. Let's get to the next one already. Come on. You know, when the video game level is expressing how lame the, like, area you're fighting in is, that's... I, I don't know. Maybe maybe you should... I, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just throwing out ideas here. The god Samael hates change and conflict, but... <laughs> the player does not. A little bit of paint over all this chrome, even, even for a little bit, wouldn't have hurt. Kingdom 4 also introduces no new enemy archetypes or map obstacles to differentiate it from the previous Kingdom 3. The only spice is Tojiro's inclusion, which I feel isn't enough to make it stand out and be memorable. Toshiro drastically affects game balance here as since he restores SP so easily, if you don't care about the rewards, turtling has now become the best and safest option. I'm intentionally playing on the hardest difficulty and still flying through these maps because we've seen this all before, we've done this all before, and outside the random spawn of a shadow making me have to restart the map because, oh, I didn't know the enemies would be on that side and have to walk all the way over. It's 
Uh, I feel like it could just be a bit better. To add to my grievances, we also have boss rematches in this chapter, and they are complete pushovers compared to their previous versions. Without the element of surprise and the lack of challenge, they end up feeling just like work. An obligation, opposed to what a boss rematch should feel like. A victory lap. You can flex your tactics and your new skills because you understand more about the game. But here's the reality. The tactics of this game have not evolved since Chapter 3, dude. And they certainly don't change in Chapter 4. I don't like Kingdom 4 at all. I've tried multiple times to spice up the commentary of this episode. But in reality, it's just Kingdom 3 again. But <laughs> even worse, because there's no magic ninja frogs. That is a sentence I never thought I'd say. So I cut it out of the project. Literally, you are missing nothing, I promise you. The plays I was making in these maps was nothing spectacular. Like, we've been doing you know, triple threats for how many hours now? And the story isn't anything to write home about either. But there are some new talks in this chapter, so, you know, let's check those out. Aww. I'm definitely not a fan of this Marie drama revival. My ears are still ringing. <sighs> I understand they're trying to toy with us, but I'm getting rather tired of it. Dang, y'all don't like boss rematches either? Shoot. I'm surprised, though. Toshiro-san didn't seem to affect you at all. There's no need to worry about me. I'll take much more than that to shake my conviction. Although, now that I have all my memories back, I've been thinking over some things involving Marie. Mm -hmm. Oh? Well, there's no denying that Marie was guilty of conspiring my father to try and break the law. The fact that she aided my father in his crimes for the sake of her own greedy ambitions is certainly unforgivable. But... However, it's also I'm also at fault. I should have reined her in before she went too far. What were your interactions with the real Marie like? Well, thinking back on it, all I did was listen silently as she flew into hysterics and acted on her own selfish whims. Like a daily basis? Ugh. I was like a robot, simply nodding and going along with everything she said as I watched with lifeless eyes. All I wanted was to appease her, so... I turned my brain off. Whoa, so you're a walking doormat. Hmm. Well, time to put you in a trash can? What? <laughs> a, a trash can? Why'd I even pick that? The way you don't hold back at all reminds me of our Aerie. But you're absolutely right. I am trash. I'm just a coward who looked the other way. However... But the fact you feel that way now means you changed, right? You reflected. That's a step in the right direction. Exactly. You're finally facing the future head on, Toshiro-san. That's right. Yeah. I've decided I'm not going to run anymore. When I get back to the real world, I'm gonna have an honest conversation with Marie. Ah. Why don't she get arrested though if you blow the whistle? Like, ugh. Ah, Toshi. You got a real different look in your eyes now. Back when we first met you? You're like a feeble old man that was ready to keel over. I was imprisoned? They didn't feed us! <sighs> People, old man. <laughs> yeah, plus you're always wound up super tightly. Like a spring that was about to burst. Oh, his resolve was about as soft and pliable as a mochi. So Arena knows about mochi. Okay, noted. Well, wasn't he also... Wait, wait, you say mochi? Oh, I'd love some right now. Uh. It's that... Is all you can think about is food? I mean... <laughs> Some, you know, travel peanuts would be nice. Do trains have those? Probably just airplanes. Anyway, in order for Toshiro-san to fulfill his wishes in the real world, we absolutely have to win here first. Our way home is riding on this, too. Come this far together, so let's finish this as a team. Oh, yeah. yeah, she says as she's been on the bench. Ooh, let's take care of business and head on home. I'm sure Samael. I can't even say it. I can't even say it right. That has to be Samael, right? Sell me out. What? What's the freaking difference? I saw some other tricks planned. We should keep moving once everyone's ready. Okay. I'll tell you. <laughs> Where are they going? It's a train. What? I'm prepared to face my past regrets head on. In order to do that, I need to keep moving forward. Does this mean, though, that Toshiro will also go to prison for being a collaborator? Oh my god. That would. <sighs> what would you do? Like, what happens with whistleblowers? I'm pretty sure they get off Scott clean, right? Like, I don't know. I'm just thinking, like, even if we defeat, 
you know, this evil tyrannical God who seems to be, you know, working in everyone's best wishes. Might not be a happy ending for Toshiro. But if he's willing to press on despite that, I don't know. That would be pretty admirable. Then you're never going to get to see Aerie in the freaking hospital or wherever she is now. I... Hooray! That was... Not exciting at all. I, <laughs> I don't, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna level with you guys. I don't know how I'm gonna edit that. But uh, let's try and think on the positive side. And remember how awful Toshiro's father. What? No, that that segue doesn't work. Uh, whatever. I already picked the talk. Toshiro-san, if you don't mind me asking, do you have any memories of spending time with your father? Hmm. Memories of my father. Let me think. I remember that if my grades dropped. It forced me to stay in my room and write reflective essays until you said I could come out. Oh, essays? Ah. Occasionally, if he had some free time, he drilled me on a field study that was essentially about how to govern people. Oh. What a tiger dad? What the frick does that mean? I feel suffocated just hearing about it. Mm. Honestly, I'd have run away the first opportunity. I you could handle that, man. No. It wasn't easy. As you know, willpower isn't exactly my strong suit. <laughs> However, I did come up with a few tricks to help me get by. Hi. Oh, do tell. I decided to come up with names for all the assignments my father piled on me. Hmm. For example, there was Operation Math Buster and Mission Physics Possible. You're the best character. This you are wasted on this franchise, Toshiro. <laughs> How? Duh! If only I had the notebook with me right now to prove it. Maybe you should have studied how to come up with names during your lessons. No. That's not the point. That's not. What is wrong with you? Just get out of here. <laughs> Just like Morgana takes Arena away. Don't you have any memories of going out together or eating together? Anything like that? Mm -hmm. Maybe, but nothing's coming to mind. All I can remember is sitting alone at the dinner table eating the meals that our housekeeper made for me. That's just... not even... <sighs> Due to all the meetings and parties we had to attend, my father was rarely home. Ah... Uh... Way... That's just... Man, it just goes to show, bro. Just because you get... I don't know, like, how the dumb... I just... I hope to gosh, I don't... I don't... No matter what happens in my life, I am just not- Ah, oh, sorry, son and daughter. I couldn't make it to your respective soccer and badminton games. I was on the job. That would tear me to ribbons. I mean, totally different story with Toshiro's dad, but- I guess he was busy, but he didn't care if you were home alone? But- But what if he- You see, my father was a very busy person, too. But I felt he did it for our family. For me. When I was little, it made me sad. But now I feel like I can understand him a bit better. You think he may have had my best interest at heart? Actually, That's a lot of benefit of the doubt. I can think of at least one possible reason that my father was so hard on me. Oh? When my mother was bedridden due to her illness, I heard her ask my father to look after me. Not once, but several times. She told me him, Please raise Toshiro to be strong, even after I'm gone. Well, that's... So you think he was strict parent to fulfill a promise he made to your dying mother? I... Mm. If that's the case, one could say he did hold fatherly love for you. In a warped, distorted sort of way. Hmm. Since I've never confronted him or been able to speak up for myself, it's hard for me to say. Then you just gotta speak your mind and... When you get back, you're gonna duke him out... You're... You're gonna go duke it out with him, right? I, I, I naturally, I don't intend to hold back, but I, I will not resort to violence. <laughs> In my own way, I think I'll show, I'll be truly showing my respect and love for my father by speaking openly. Yep. And indicting him, throwing him behind the slam. Right, we're still doing that, right? Laying into him, behind bars. Yeah. It's hard to believe this. The same guy who once had a spy made of tofu. <gasps> tofu is strong. Okay. <sighs> It's at least made of gelatin. That's slightly more durable. No, Tofu's, tofu's way stronger than gelatin. Get your facts straight, Atlas. But I'm glad you guys are in good spirits. I hope you haven't forgotten about Samael. I'm sorry. Oh, I kind of did. I won't be honest. Shall we get moving? Oh, uh, okay, I guess. 
Oh, thank God that's over. Man, what a drag. It's over. Yeah, I'm happy too. I mean, <clears throat> then keep coming back as many times as they like. But I'll defeat them every time. Uh, do I get any say in this? Like, I, I put in work in there too. Like, it's not one man show, buddy. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying. We're the Phantom Thieves, plural. There's a lot of us. All that's left is to defeat the one behind this all. Everyone, let's go. Man, what the fuck? I'm, it's like I'm not even the leader anymore. This. I'm not actually mad. I'm just messing around. <laughs> I'm, I'm putting it out. It's not just you, Toshi. Nah, but actually it is mostly the Toshiro show. I won't lie. I don't have a lot to say positively about the last three hours of gameplay. But I'll effing shut up and just prepare for the final map. Thank you all so much for watching this video. And see you in the next episode of Persona 5 Tactica, where we take the fight to Samael. See you then. Bye.